Welcome back everyone to our scene let's play of Grandia on El Tyre's YouTube channel where we last left off. We ended up in... What was that? We ended up in... I'm not picking that up yet because that will disorientate me. We ended up in Mount Typhoon which is where we are apparently going to be... ...getting something or other. We're supposed to be going to the Typhoon Tower. Which is where we will be finding a means to stop this torrential rain. But what I want to do is figure out what I'm doing wrong. So let's go back. We're supposed to be looking for a specific item. Right, so that's where the money was. So it says go south and west across the Mushroom Bridge. Okay. Then go directly north, northeast. North northeast up the long hill to a demon sword amulet. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I don't know what this does though. Plus five defense, plus one more magic resistance. I might give that to you, and then Gadwin can have the tree amulet. Awesome! Alright, go northwest to a tent. Northwest. Okay, so there's nothing in that one. But check the one beside it for some money. This one? Oh, that's uh, sneaky. Go north to the next tent, which is empty. Then go to the one north of this, which has a dream truffle. Wow, sneaky. Go east to the next tent. East. That one. Which also is empty, and then northeast of this to find the seed of magic. Ah. What is all that weird stuff on the ground there? We'll give this to Justin actually. Alright. To your southwest is an empty tent. Southeast of that is M2. That one. If you go southeast from the entrance of the second tent, you'll find a health screen. There we go. Head east, northeast. Pass the tent. So that's entrance to the tower. Find another tent that's brown. Okay. Go northeast from this one and you find something. A lonely yellow tent. There it is. Okay, it goes south to another brown tent. I'm surprised we haven't got many tent battles. Neither this one nor the yellow one beside it has anything in it. But there's another health wheel to the south of the brown tent. Go northwest. Find a dungeon scope, Michael. Then head west southwest of it to a yellow tent. West. West southwest. This way. And this tent has money in it too. 
Awesome. So that's it. That's everything on Typhoon Tower Slope. So what I'll do is I will go back to just to reorient ourselves. Uh, just as well, that was weird. I want to fight this thing first because we haven't fought it yet. Just so that you can see what it is. What is it right on? It's another clip. Clip, clip. Attack it. Obviously, don't want to waste my money. The only bad thing about my abilities, sorry. The only bad thing about Gadwin is that he has a knockback effect fish. when he hits the enemy, which sends him away from himself, so he has to use or expend move points to get to them, which is annoying. And it also puts him out of range of other characters that may not be as agile. Okay, let's go back to where we need to be. Here. So here's the entrance to Typhoon Tower. What I'll do is I'll stop the camera. Off camera, I will take care of all. Actually, let's enter. Pretty sure there's a save point in here. Wow. This place is weird. We'll recover and save. I'll go back outside and take care of the enemies, and then we'll resume back here uh, when I'm ready to proceed. Anyway, thanks guys, I will see you in just a second. Cheers. Okay guys, we're back. I did a bit of grinding and that's enough. I've had enough of grinding at this point, so uh, we will continue. Uh, it's interesting to know, I observed that the Kleps here, maybe this is some type of spiritual temple for them because they just seem to be everywhere, like they're camped out outside. Um, no. says go all the way northwest and find a mana egg. Okay, so if you knock you need to knock the barrels to make the enemies jump off. And that's how you break that and get these stairs. Okay. Go up the stairs and grab the monies. Head back to the save point. Okay. Which is this way. And then head northeast. Dungeon scope icon. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Hmm. All right. So there's a weird, some weird stuff to the east there. Uh, go east onto the green platform and open the chest. Right. Let's do that. Don't step on the red buttons unless you want enemies dropped on your head. This will give us a confusion charm. You won't equip. So if we go north from here and press the purple button, that opens those stairs. Great. Ooh, they didn't see me. Which we'll ignore for the moment. Go north and into the green goo. You'll slide down it, but you can't get back up through it. Okay. Green goo. Uh, go all the way northwest to some stairs. Northwest. This place, the music in here is kind of interesting. Alright, should we go up the stairs? Go up them and start moving west. So you'll see a rope goes up to the second floor, but don't use it. Grab the money to the northeast. Okay, here we go. Go south to a dungeon scope icon. This must be a religious site for the Kleps because they're everywhere. Then west from here and down a rope. West. 
Aha. Aha. This place is kind of confusing. All right. Going southwest and north to find a collect sickle. Oh, I'll probably be in that chest. So we'll fight these. Oh shit. They're harder than the normal enemies. So let's use round backup. You can just attack it normally. We can go for that one. Oh, well, that wasn't too hard. So we'll go what get the clip sickle. We won. Awesome. I think it's an axe type weapon. Maybe? It is indeed. Head south to the green platform. Should we equip that to Justin? No. Lowers his attack, and besides that, I want to get his sword to level 23 first anyway. Okay, so south to the green platform to grab money. Hope that doesn't... In Head east and follow the path as it turns south to a save point east. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight you. Go away. Oh shit, that leaves the dungeon. Up, oh, there we go. Alright, so go back into the eastern room and up the green stairs. I'm completely turning myself around. What's with all these weird uh, motifs on the wall? Oh, it says green stairs. Wrong one. Green stairs that were formed when we pressed the purple button. Oh, it must be oops, up here. Oh shit, I did not want to do that. Oh, damn it. I wasn't paying attention. Well, these ones aren't the hard ones, at least. So let's, uh... See if we can get your wind up. Go up the green stairs, which are just ahead. Choose random hell. Oh, oh. I Success. They have a read on. Um, they have a talon motif on their shields, which is interesting to note as well. I wonder why they're so opposed to the humanoids. Well, they're kind of humanoid too because they're bird humans. We won anyway, so that's fine. Ooh. Apparently this place is really good to grind in as well. The person that wrote the guide that I'm using uh, currently has his party at level 19 at this point in the game. So grab the money at the top of the stairs. Yes. Step on both purple buttons. Go across the bridge. Step on the purple button here. Okay. And go... Don't go near them. Keep going west to a fork. Okay, fork. So we pass to the north or one to the south. If it's to the north, grab the pirate helmet. Oh, thank you. 
The motifs on the wall are all uh, aquatic in nature, so I'm wondering if maybe the bird people worship fish? It doesn't make sense though. What am I doing? I want to equip the pirate helm. To Justin. A pretty helmet. Oh, that's a pearl helmet. Ominous. Okay. To get the other path to appear, you need to go back across this bridge. And press the button furthest north once again. And that should open up another section over here, which is this way. Oh, there's a chest there. We get a hail bow. Let's, if that's better than what she currently has equipped, we will equip it to her because she does have, oh, it's not. Oh, but it's got blizzard attached to it. Let's equip that to her anyway. Go back out and head west some more. No, stay away from me. Taking the stairs down to the first floor. And going up the opposite set, going the other way to the way you entered. So, by that it means this. Go north into a room and grab some money. Uh oh. Oh, damn it, I shouldn't have tried to run around them. They're the harder ones, too. No, actually... Just attack normally. Oh, damn it. Oh, you bitch. a bit of damage. Oh, she's got the bow now. Oh, it does shit damage. I should probably change her back to a mace. Uh oh. Yeah, these guys have the Talon motor on their shields as well. That's interesting. That's a different type. Oh, treasure. I wonder what that is. I don't even know why I did that. These guys must be Come, strong to hold. Oh, fire charm. Let's change Sue back to her other weapon because this hail bow is kind of shit. It's strange that the items that you can buy in the store seem to be more effective than the ones that you can... Can I get around this way? Oh, damn. Oh, I killed them by knocking swords on them. That's funny. Head east. There's some more money over here. Somewhere. Follow the path to money and then go down the rope beside it. Ah, okay. There's a lot of crystals in here too. Get money to the southeast and then push the button beside it. Ah. Here we go. That opens those stairs. Go up them to the second floor and then push the button on the pedestal. My time is about to go off, so. Do that. Ah, okay. Excellent. Well, anyway, guys, this has been Astin on Eltari's YouTube channel, taking you on a Let's Play of Grandia. When we return, we will finish up Typhoon Tower and uh, go back to Dyke Village. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.